What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the Monster Bass channel. I'm Jeff Burlingame with Burly Fishing and today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite new plastic slash trailers that I've been throwing recently thanks to the Monster Bass bag that I got in May. I think you guys are going to dig this as well and it's definitely going to get you on some fish because I've already done that. We're going to share some of that fishing footage today. I think you guys are going to like this one. We're talking about Big Bite Baits the Kamikaze Swim On. So all that coming up here in just a sec. All right, you guys, before we talk about the bait, if this is your first time stopping by the channel or for some reason you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. There's so many amazing creators on this channel dropping hot tips and tricks to put you on your PB. Because it's our goal here at Monster Bass to make sure you have fun on the water and potentially catch your PB. Now. If you got an extra second, you can pop over to my channel and also subscribe. Go check out Burly Fish. We also go live every Thursday right after the Monster Bass Live, so you can pop on over there, get two lives in one night. It's a great time. Love to see you on my channel. Hit me up in the comments and let me know that you popped over from Monster Bass. So let's get to it, you guys. I want to talk to you about the bait, how I rig it, how I set it up, where I fish it, how I've seen success so far, and I want to share some fishing footage with you, so we're going to save some time for that. But here we are. So we got the Kamikaze Swim On by Big Bite Baits. This is a swim style plastic with a claw appendage at the end. So rather than a paddle tail or even a fluke tail, we've got claws coming down here, just like a little craw trailer. This thing is fantastic. The thing I like about it the most versus throwing a craw plastic on as a trailer or on your chatterbaits, spinnerbaits, or just swimming it or anything like that, is that these are flat, right? So they're not going to inhibit the bait. They're not gonna make the bait rise too high in the water column. It allows you more freedom in water depth and swimming. The other thing I like about this is that these have way more action than your normal craw trailers. Look at that. We've got a couple joints here down towards the tail end, going down to our ultra thin claws, which also have holes in them, which allow them to move even more freely, which is pretty rad. So you're getting a ton of action. You'll see in the video, I should be sharing a few parts where you can see it kind of up close to the boat. These claws are kind of alternating through the water, kind of like if you were kicking your feet like that, which gives you a very unique action and looks awesome. The other thing I'll credit these with is that they're actually really durable. So I've put this thing on fish. I've caught pike, I've caught bass with it, and I've been able to use the same trailer kind of the whole day, surprisingly. Like the trailer you see me using on the chatterbait in this video is the same one all day did not tear, did not break off. And we're talking like aggressive hammer handle pike. Like those little guys, they're full of piss and vinegar only, and they will just gnaw and chew and destroy. And they did not destroy this thing, which I was very impressed by. So the durability on these things, awesome, A plus. All right, so let's talk rigging. Now, of course you can Texas rig these. You could Nico rig it. You could shaky head it. You could throw it on a net rig. You could do all these things, but for this time of year, what I would actually recommend is using it on your search baits, reaction baits, moving baits. So the most success that I saw in this video, you'll see in just a second, was this right here. The Z-Man Jackhammer with these bluegill colors on it. This is an aftermarket skirt because my other skirt got chewed off by a hammer handle pike, which we were just talking about. So we got a little aftermarket skirt here, but still those bluegill colors, some oranges, blues, green pumpkins. That paired up really well with this color that you see here, which is called Chick Magnet. It's kind of like a goby color, just like the silvers and golds, and there's some purple flake in there as well. I really like that color. And this is the same one. This one is chewed on by all the fish you're about to see. And the only battle scar you're gonna see is a little bit of an extra gap by the hook. That's it. Still on there, perfectly snug, not moving at all. It's still gonna catch more fish. I'm not taking it off, I'm gonna use it later. Meanwhile, look at all the teeth that have hit this blade. <laughs> this blade has been through heck. It's awesome. Look at the jig head too. Oh my gosh. This thing has seen better days, but it is an absolute fish catcher. I love this color and this bait, jackhammers. If you haven't thrown a, a chatterbait like a, the jackhammer before, you haven't thrown a chatterbait. You should do it. So, perfect example, great way to rig this thing, set it up as a trailer on that. It will hammer. I love the action on it. The second option I go with is this right here. Throw it on a spinnerbait. In fact, I had it on two that I threw around for the day. And again, allows you more control in the water column, doesn't force the bait up as you fish it has amazing action, just looks really good in the water. Then we got this, this is actually perfect for this time of year. 
love throwing underspins late spring. So water temps are going up. They start to key in, especially post spawn on these moving baits. So you can throw something like this. This would be perfect on here. It allows it to run lower in the water column because a paddle tail, the thicker paddle tail on there, that action is driving the bait up. If you throw an actual craw trailer on here, it's gonna push the bait up. Something like this or a fluke is gonna allow the bait to ride lower in the water, which is ideal, especially if you have a fluorocarbon leader versus straight braid or mono. So I'll throw it on this underspin. This is just a VMC underspin. I think it's a three aught, and this is an amazing pairing. Looks awesome in the water. Again, the big bite baits, Kamikaze Swim On, comes in many different colors. These are just two examples I have. It's the classic spring color. I think this one's called Flamethrower, and it'll definitely get the job done but experiment with different colors. Find out what works for you. All right, so real quick, we'll talk setup and then I wanna show you how this thing did fishing for the day. So setup wise, I've got mine rigged up and what I was fishing most of that day where I was crushing it was this setup right here. So for the reel, we've got the Akuma Helios SX. This is a fantastic reel. This one's in a seven, three to one gear ratio. I like that gear ratio for all the baits I fished here. Really can't fish any lower gear ratio than that for chatter baits. Typically I'd be like a seven, three to one or higher gear ratio for chatter baits because I want to get that blade moving and you need some speed on it. So a little bit of a faster gear ratio will do you well. Uh, plenty of drag on this. I think it's 18 pounds of drag. Uh, didn't need it. I mean, thing crushed all day long on three pounders plus all day. So it did its job. Hammer handle pike even, no problem. And then we've got that paired up with the brand new, hard to find unfortunately, but brand new Akuma Psycho Stick. This one right here is a 7.2 medium heavy. Now I say medium heavy, this one behaves almost more like a medium. The backbone of the rod's a little bit lower in the blank. And you might see on some of those catches, the way this rod behaves is like a little bit of a lighter setup. It even like, if you look at the weight of the lures that you can use, it's only a quarter to three quarters of an ounce. So it's a pretty light, medium heavy, but I like it. It also happens to be a very light rod. So it's very comfortable, very easy to hold and cast and use all day long. I mean, I did. This is pretty much the only rig I used all day. Just super fun to be throwing this stuff on this setup. Couple backup setups that I go with just to give you guys some other ideas. Uh, they're actually up on my wall here. So I like throwing the Ducket Silverado combo with an SLX or an SLX DC. It's a pretty great combo as well. And then I've got my other favorite right here is the Abu Garcia Zada with a Bass X. Bass X by St. Croix, one of my favorite rods to throw of all time. So any of those three combos I'd be going for. It also gives you a couple different price ranges that you can play around with. As far as line goes, whenever I'm throwing like chatterbait spinner baits, I'm going like braid as the backer and then we got a fluorocarbon leader. I'm fishing anything that's not complete chocolate milk, usually I'm throwing a fluorocarbon leader. In this case, because this is kind of a lighter power rod, this has 20 pound braid. My Zada Bass Axe combo has 30 pound braid and my Ducket Silverado has 20 pound braid as well because it's also kind of a lighter combo. So. Look up like the appropriate braid weight for the rod and reel combo that you're throwing. Make sure that you're making the right choice. Line choice is huge. It's a huge component. I can never stress that enough. That's something I've had to learn over the years. You, it would benefit you to do a little bit of research on it, trust me. And then as far as the fluorocarbon leader, I downsized that weight a little bit from the braid. So we're throwing 12 pound leader on this 20 pound braid, and that does me well. I'm not going through any rough cover in this trip that you can see. Not a lot of things that would cause abrasion, no laydowns, trees, riprap, rocks, none of that. So pretty open water situation here. Just perfect for chatterbait, just those like tall weeds running right through there, and it was producing for me. All right, so enough tech talk. Let's get out on the water and see how this thing performs. Let's go. On him, on him. Get in here. Nice one. Nice one. Yes. Choked it. Choked it. Oh my God, that is way down in there. Holy cow, buddy. Yes. Yo. <laughs> yes. All right, he's got a little bit of blood. Guys, let's get back. Okay. All right, buddy. Okay, he's pissed. <laughs> Dude. Tank. 
there you go one bait down shoot <laughs> that was sick that was so sick all right i hate to ditch it but i'm going with the spinner bait now i wallowed that thing man a bit of blood in the boat and on me thank you sir all right so i'm gonna pair it up with one of my favorite chatterbaits of all time grab a freshie here throw this bad boy on there we go nice rig looks clean should fish want something for coming back in this cut looks like we got more on Oh, another freaking tank. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's how you do it. This is how you do it. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. Oh. And we got a new PB of the day, 302. Wow. Dude. Bigs all day. Pigs. All freaking day. Turn off. Nice. Measure length on her because oh, look at that belly. Holy cow. Yo. All right, we're gonna get her back here in a second. Shorter than the last one. We got a 17 and a half. All good. Man, let's get a good release. Oh my god. Chunky baby. Chunky baby. Woo. Hell yes. Heck yeah, baby. Psycho stick strikes again. There you have it. Like I said, one of my favorite, favorite chatterbaits to throw. Jackhammer in this like bluegill pattern. Oh, that kamikaze did her in. That tail is such a perfect pairing. Oh my God, I keep missing fish. Damn it. They're like, following me all the way up to the freaking oh got that one got that one oh it's huge oh my gosh what is this holy crap that's a pike that's a pike hang on dude <laughs> hold on hold your horses holy cow flip a toothy critter in the boat yep got it we're good don't worry oh, okay holy cow i caught a pike honey <laughs> <laughs> it's in the boat. It's loose in the boat. Don't worry. Everything's fine. What are you using? He just caught a pike. Oh, <laughs> What's that? What are you using? Uh, chatterbait. It's been working all day. No, I've been out for a while. I've gotten uh, quite a few. It's been fun. Fun day. Thanks. Have a good one. Uh, so, you're a part of that. <laughs> Thanks for being here with me. <laughs> um, okay, so when you come home, we can sign the papers. Cool. Sounds that's good. That. Oh my golly. Holy cow. This is Pike City. I think I can get one. Pike out here are nuts today. Love it. Just had to do one for the road. <laughs> Literally casting on my way out. We got a little slime missile. Later, my dude. That was awesome. <laughs> Here I am, trying to leave. Oh, I hit this little like three foot deep flat. And uh, still got the chatterbait tied on with that kamikaze, of course. I was like, this feels pikey. Dude, this thing is caught. What? Almost four pike. Like two misses, two, two like snaps and misses. Landed two of them. Look at it. It's absurd. It's like not even damaged. That is uh that's a hell of a trailer, my friends. 
And uh, this is a pikey area, so let's keep casting. Last spot before we head out. Got him. Oh yeah. Another freaking tank, dude. Are you joking me? Woo! There we go. Yeah, dude. Yo. Oh my god. Freaking monster. Oh, wow. Once again, dude. That's a freaking giant. Oh, gorgeous freaking tank. Thank you, friend. You've been fantastic. Wow. Just hammer all right you guys there you have it so i gotta say that was honestly one of the best days on the water i have had this year just tank after tank after tank it was a high producing day we had good sized fish all day long they were fighting hard it was so fun to get the first like major moving bite day of the year uh, i i can't tell you how fun that day was it was ridiculous hopefully you can tell by my fish catch reactions they're always kind of like that. I, I will never apologize for getting super excited about catching any fish, any size ever. So, hey, hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you're on the market for a new plastic to start throwing, something to throw as a better trailer, I think the Kamikaze Swim On is an amazing option. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. And then hopefully my rigging tips and watching the fishing video helped you as well to help you get on more fish. That's our goal here at Monster Bass. Again, if you like the video, you wanna see more like this, consider subscribing to the Monster Bass channel. If you'd be so kind, pop over to Burly Fishing and throw me a subscribe and talk to me in one of my comments. Let me know that you came over from this video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching today. I hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you on the next video.